Hello and welcome to my next video where I'll be showing you how to make use iMovie to make videos for education. So during this process you will learn how to make your iMovie and add a few special effects to make it interesting for your students. Okay, so let's get started. So I've just opened iMovie and I'm on the first screen where I'm going to start importing my media. Now obviously you can just click that button and start to um, bring media in that's on your desktop but what I have here is so I'll just move this to the side for a second and I'll just grab some videos that I've just recorded I've literally just screen recorded these from the internet just to make this go a little bit faster in here I've actually got some pictures um, of just some cartoon characters that we can put in here and I've also saved a gif if I can find it um, because I wanted to show you how to create this okay um, I'll just put this gif in for now and then I'll show you how I made the other one after okay so basically um, we've got our things here now so these might be photos there might be videos and all you want to do now is create your content so the easiest thing you can do is just plus so you just add these into your timeline now obviously you know if you just want a basic video that's automatically made you'll just do it like this okay so now that you've just got your basic idea here you want to start to edit your video a little bit so if you go to this section here my media and then click on titles you can actually um, try one of these effects here so I'm just gonna click this one in the middle and I'm just gonna write Tweety Pie literally so we get I can't spell obviously okay and then I'm gonna go to the colors and I'm gonna choose colors for this section so you've got to highlight it and then you've got to choose colors if you click twice you can get it to change color um, almost immediately and then with this one you can choose these colors whatever whatever you're happy with oh I've forgotten one um, and then that's it okay so now that I've got this title on there I'm gonna go back and I'm going to press play to see how that works okay yeah I'm happy with that alright so that's one of the effects now as you can see this picture of Mickey it goes from his feet up to his face so I want to change that so I'm gonna to go to this section here which says Ken Burns and I'm gonna change the way that it that it, this works what I want to do is there's two boxes this one that I'm clicking on now is the start box and this one that I'm clicking on uh, after is the end box so with this start box I'm just gonna make it smaller and I'm gonna put it on his hand and then I want the focus I want your focus your eyes um, to kind of I want this to zoom out and show the whole of Mickey so once I'm happy with that then again I'm going to put this bar just before the Mickey picture so I can see how this works and whether it works well so again when you're doing pictures and photos you can use that idea now this video is of Mr Bean and I just recorded it off the internet and I want to pause here I want someone to really look at this and you know marvel at the beauty of Mr Bean so I'm uh, what I have to do is go in the middle of this frame and right click and then I can uh, add a freeze frame which means that as you're watching the video it will just pause for a couple of seconds in that particular place now once he leaves the car I want to cut this part out of the video so I'm just going to again right click and I'm going to split clip and then over there anywhere I'm doing this randomly obviously but you guys can do it more perfectly and then in the middle where I want to split that clip I'm going to click again and split the clip now I want to remove that part 
So I've got to make it highlight in the yellow colour. Um, and that's it, I can delete. Now you might see sometimes on people's videos where they've added some extra little fancy elements. So we'll just do a couple of those. Um, one of them is transitions where you can actually get your video to fade out. So this one will fade to a white at the end. Like that. Um, you can get between a slide so you can show if there's a part that you might have had to clip out. You can just get a nice transition so it takes you from one place to the other. Um, that's nice to put in videos as well. Um, the background I don't use a lot but maybe you guys can find uses for it if you just want to have plain backgrounds for different reasons and the audio as long as you have it in your iTunes library it will work there so obviously as teachers we want to record voiceovers so all you have to do is take your cursor or this beginning line to the beginning of the clip where you want to add the audio and then click this microphone and then once you click that it will just say one, two, three, get ready. And then once you're talking, it will record over here at the bottom. And you wanna check that it was good. You then just press done and then you can play. And then once you're talking, it will record over here at the bottom. Okay, so um, that's just another way to add audio. Let's imagine that we had this cleanup song, but I wasn't happy with the audio. I can detach the audio from here. So now when you play this, there'll be no music or no sound. Actually, there will be, it will be down here. Um, but what I can do is I can detach the audio and delete it, um, which means that there'll be no sound. So if I press play now, there won't be any sound. But if I just control Z that back in, um, you've got your sound here and there's a tiny little dot I don't know if you can see it right there and what you can do is you can bring this dot over and then what will happen is that at the end of the clip this sound will fade out to a zero so this section here you heard it earlier I was um, I just played it and you could over hear here, quite a lot of background noise so what we can do is in this section, which looks like a bar chart, we just go to reduce the background noise, and I normally in increase that to 100. It's already realized that it's a voice recording. So now when you play it, you should get a bit of a clearer voice. And then once you're talking, it will record. So as you can hear that, the background noise is completely gone. So hopefully that gives you a good, quick overview on how iMovies works. Now we're starting to get a little bit more fancy and we've googled a GIF so um, I've just got this one of a magnet and I'm going to do save image as. Once it saves it will go straight to my desktop and from there I'm going to open it. When it opens, it opens in this preview section over here and I'll just click on the markup bar and once we've got on the markup bar we need to click this tool over here instant alpha we click on there turn it on and then we're going to remove the background so as you can see as I dragged it it highlighted in pink and the pink part is the part that's going to get deleted now um, if I go to the next slide I need to do it again because this is a gif so I want just the pink part deleted as you can see if I continue dragging more and more of the picture will get covered so I just want these particular parts to stay as they are and I only want to delete um, the actual white background because I want it li literally to be transparent. Um, I've noticed here the lines have gone but it's okay. I'll just continue and then I'll do that for all 12. Okay, so now I want to add this GIF to my video, so I'm going to drag it over the top of the picture that I want it to appear on, and you can see it literally just appears right over the top of it. Um, you can use these options on the side here to change where you want it to appear, and you can also change whether you want it to be transparent 
or fully opaque and if it was on for a longer time you could even get it to fade out so it would be on there for a little while and then it will fade out you can do that as well um, what I like to do as a teacher is put picture in picture which means that I'll be explaining the main item and then somewhere on the side I'll have this going in the background um, once I've got it in the right place and I'm happy with it I can right click on here and press copy and then I'll just use the keyboard to paste a few times so that it will continue so when I press play this will not disappear it will just continue showing the same gif as we go along so when I was making this um, element to put in I had to go into preview and remove the background um, it took me around a minute to do but what I want to do is add this to my video now and I want to speed it up so I'm going to go to here and I'm just going to make this fast speed so you see that the clip become shorter and when you play it it happens a lot faster okay so at normal speed it would look a little bit different if I just change this back to normal speed you'll be able to see it's a lot slower yeah and when you change it to fast speed you can actually change it to eight times faster or ten times or twenty times depending on what you want if you're doing something like this that you just want to quickly show you can just do that so so I hope that was useful for you please do let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to know um, hopefully I've covered all the basics and um, this is a quick summary of what I did just so that you can see how this fast uh, option really works.